Oh, the kids are outside of school again. Yeah, there we are. So, um, in case you guys didn't know, um, around this time, you know, three, around three, um, the kids get out of school and they ride this bus that stops in front of my house for some reason every day. It's not likely for me to record on a weekday. That's a school day. I never record on school days. But the reason why I'm doing this is because it's Thanksgiving, you know? Um, but most of the time, I usually record on the weekends. Also, I saw Barry. Oh, thank you so much for the those cogs. Now maybe I can keep my regular delivery schedule. Your reward is well, one last point. This is a nice. It's a nice reward. I do agree, but you know, it's nice. <laughs> it is nice. Plus one laugh. Every laugh counts. Oh, carry three tune tasks. Huh? Do I really want to do that? Two two plus story cog buildings. Ah man, it's not like that. All right, it's not like that. I believe Hector's idle again. My buddy Hector is idle. He has nice shoes. So we got his HQ officer here, and she, she yeah, she's pretty convenient because she holds two of these tune tasks. They're basically the same. Only difference is that you're finding um, Sobots in this one, and you're finding Lawbots in this one. Now, last time, the last month of Toon Town, we did the Ambulance Chaser. Uh, sprocket task. So this time we're gonna choose the name dropper sprocket task, where we're gonna have to um, study soul bot mecha mechanics, I guess. So we need to study some pieces more closely. Bring us a sprocket for a name dropper. When you catch one, you can catch one when the clock is exploding. But really, we don't catch it. We just wait for it to drop. I kind of think that this sprocket task is going to work really nicely with um, Uncle Mud's task because since Uncle Mud is asking us to get uh, soul bot HQ memos. It's most likely that we're gonna find a knife dropper. Knife dropper. <laughs> hey, the comparison is real. This person needs help. All right, I'll help you, mate. Oh, you don't need help. Oh, okay. Oh, is he idle? Did like some guy push him on the streets or something? Cause he has like sleep my flap. Wow. Wow, this person is like completely idle. I don't know what he's doing, but he's nearly dead. I don't want to say necessarily nearly dead, but 67 out of 104 is kind of a huge difference. There's a huge chunk out of right now. Okay, so now the micromancer is out of the way, and now I have to deal with the gladiator. That's nice. Maybe some nice score training, and I might tune him up later, I guess. I might the best time is tuning him up. Look at this! Oh, jeez! This guy did absolutely nothing! He was like literally out of on the streets for no reason. Something must be done about this. I need, I need to push him out on the streets. Oh, it's the cog coming! You gotta be kidding me! Come on. Oh, that's bad. He's not even moving. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Hee <laughs> hee! No! Oh, he just walked right past him. And I just walked right- Oh my god. That was another major dodge moment right there. I almost backed- Oh my god. What- What are you doing? Uh, okay. That was- That was a major dodge right there. That was total major dodge. Oh, well, that's good enough, I guess. He's safe. Okay. <laughs> On our way. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for people to do this building with me because I need to go to dirt cheap and this person will wait here already. It won't, it won't take long for another person to join. Come on in, everyone. Alright, so we're gonna do a building in Data's Gardens. Remember the last time we did a building in Data's Gardens? And it was a level 3 uh, Solbot building. We all said hi, identically. Well, yeah, uh, we died. Really badly. We had a horrible death. Not fun. So see, your first cog is a telemarketer, so it won't be that bad. But Brianna here, what's her name? Bina. For some reason I thought Brianna, for some reason. I can't read, but... Yeah. She wants a mingler. As you can tell, there won't be a mingler. But there could be, could be a boss, who knows? You know, there's a telemarketer level 4 on the first floor, and there could always be a random mingler somewhere else. Yeah, see, look, cool guy knows. There might be one on the last floor. Hey, 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 got a glad hand here. We got a two cog uh, building, which means that it could be a mingler. You're not gonna hire a chance now. 
but maybe because there are two I really like the beginning floors. That was kind of weird laugh. I was kind of yawning, sighing, and laughing at the same time. And look at this! Two name droppers, man! Exactly what I need. Okay. So everybody's probably gonna use sound. <laughs> oh dear lord. The sound is real. <laughs> Nothing I can do. No, no, I can do. You get to say wrong one. The power of sound, everyone. Most overpowered gag in the game. And that hander. We caught this floor. Could be a mingler. Uh, because of my luck with the scissors, there might still be a mingler. That'd be nice. I'll use that for the XP. A little bit overkill there, that's for sure. Right, let me drink some of this liquid. My mouth's getting dry. Okay, well, normally my mouth doesn't get dry, but you know, stuff happens. You know, uh, about my body, I used to be. Extremely dehydrated in a way. Um, what I mean by like dehydrated is because I can tell from my palms. My palms used to have like little white flakiness, you know. Yeah, in the case that I was dehydrated, I don't have that anymore. I used to uh, have a lot of you know, chap lip, lip, <laughs> chap lips. Yeah, <laughs> five story. <gasps> you crazy cool dog. You need some really good friends to do that. At least, uh, some 60s, you know? Because 40s normally, bounce cells won't do well unless you have good gags. And really good teamwork. But, you know, hard teamwork is not necessarily hard to come by, but, you know. So, yeah, what I was saying about my dehydration. Yeah, I used to have a lot of chap lips and stuff. Uh, right now, I'm suffering from eczema, but I'm kind of getting better. Yeah, uh, I used to have eczema a lot when I was a kid. Basically, what it is is kind of like a skin rash or condition you have um, from being dehydrated and having dry skin. So, your skin is not very moisturized, like you're not producing enough oil to moisturize your skin, then that's what normally happens. And it's coming back to me. Uh, my mom used to. Uh, suffer from eczema herself. So, you know, it's genetics. But I don't think my brother ever got an eczema before. Oh well. Nice to ponder. You know, it's nice to ponder about this sort of stuff. Uh, yeah. That's a fun building. I don't want to say that was fun out loud, because that might upset the mouse because she didn't get her mingler. But I got what I wanted, you know. Hey, this person! Yeah, that's why he wants to pie. Yeah. Oh, so you know. Ooh! <coughs> wow, excuse me. <laughs> Speech chat's dumb, alright? Like, what? Like, what is this? Like, I hate that so much. Yeah, so, anyways. I can't click my map. There is much confusion about. <coughs> let, me, let me try that again. There is much confusion about what the cogs are up to in their new headquarters. I need you to bring back some information directly from them. If we get four internal memos from Zobots inside the rescue, that will clear things up. Bring back your first memo to me so we can learn more. Goodbye. Uncle Mud. Everyone. That's him. So anyways, I can now go outside. Turn around, you know, right here, right now. Look up. This is dirt cheap. Here we are on the map, and let's go to the Tuna HQ because we need to turn something in. A sprocket. Oh, this is my biggest pet peeve. 
about the street is because his HQ is on the ground, like right on the street, instead of being on some patches of grass. My biggest pet peeve. It's so odd, you know. I don't know why it bothers me so much, but you know, the little things always bother you, you know. Good job! Now we need a sprocket from a glad hander for comparison. These sprockets are hard to catch, so keep trying. Okay. So now I'm gonna go into somebody's queue. Um I'm good. I guess. Oh hi Miss Mousy. Yeah, Miss Mousy's one of my uh good friends I met um while I was off recording. She's really nice and really awesome. It'd be nice uh, if you guys can meet her sometime soon. So what I'm mainly concerned of are glad handers. I think we can find some inside here. Something about the Sobadish Q is that it sucks because you can't necessarily say go back to playground or teleport to it, which is yeah. It's, it's demeanoring, I guess. Is that the right word? Demeanoring? Um so you had to walk aside of Sobadish Q and then teleport back. Just, and you had to walk into the Sobadish Q again? Oh my god. <laughs> Why is this guy sad? Okay, so I don't know how many times I've tried to explain this, but Sobadish Q is special in a way because it's not necessarily a playground, it's a headquarters. You can't actually go back to the playground because it counts as its own playground. So what you have to do is you have to walk outside, then teleport back to the playground. And you cannot have a teleport access to Sobadish Q ever unless you have like a friend conveniently there for you. So that means you have to walk back most of the time. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk back to Uncle Mud here, and then we're gonna walk back to the playground, and then walk back to the shoe, and then hopefully we can find that glad hander. I'm gonna ignore that glad hander there, and do my own business. I like Uncle Mud's name, and his counterpart being Ant Hill. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uncle, Ant, and then their building's like right next to each other, so yeah. Great! So let's see what this memo says. Attention Cellbots, I'll be in my office at the top of the Cellbot Tower promoting cogs to higher levels. When you earn enough merits, enough... <laughs> when you earn enough merits, enter the elevator in the lobby to see me. Break time's over, back to work. Sign Cellbot VP. Aha, uh -huh. Flippy will want to see this. I'll send it to him right now. Please, go get your second memo and bring it back. Goodbye. Alright.